<laughs> but where would I have heard what a conservative believes from a conservative? Not from my liberal rabbi, not from my liberal entertainers, not from the liberal news programs. Think about this. There are three mediums, and yes, I know that's the wrong way to say the word. I prefer to say mediums. It just sounds better to me. There are three mediums that the liberal hates. Hates. Fox News. The Internet. The blogosphere. And conservative talk radio. one of them is a medium where debate and discussion is part of See, liberals only do well when they lecture to you. So they do well when they have a college professor lecturing to children and then punishing them if they disagree. Take those same arguments to talk radio where you have callers challenging the host. And Air America's gone how long? A <laughs> week. Right, they do just fine on the 23-minute nightly news where, where David Gregory dictates the truth to you. Take those same arguments to the debate and discussion programs on cable, and it's only Fox News. They have cowed us into not speaking. For one thing, we're polite. And they have made debate and discussion something that is ugly. You're a racist, you're a bigot, you're a homophobe, you're a xenophobe. They have actually turned thinking into a hate crime. <laughs> the concept behind this is that anything you believe, anything I believe, anything anybody believes, is going to have been so tainted by your personal prejudices the fact that you're white, the fact that you're black, the fact that you're tall, the fact that you're short, that you're fat, you're skinny, you're, you're rich, you're poor, anything you believe is going to be just a reflection of your prejudices. Therefore, the only way not to be a bigot is to never think at all. <laughs> so it's not that the liberal is stupid, it's that he has made thinking into something that he will not engage in. Ha, ha, ha.